What's up guys? Welcome back to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video, we'll be showing you how to create a minimal CV layout in Adobe Illustrator. You can also download a free template file from the description below that you can customize and edit too. Okay, I'm gonna pass you over to Rory now who'll take you through the process. Thanks Ross. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator where we have our CV template design set up. Now first of all, we've set this document up at A4 size. We've also set up a bleed area if you decide to get this professionally printed. This is something that can really set you apart from the crowd. So we've set up a bunch of different layers that we'll toggle to show you how this template has been set up, starting with the guides layer. Now guides are crucial to a design like this. They allow us to accurately and consistently position, align and space our content, so are a must for any text or information heavy designs. They are the foundations of a design and can lead to a much better user experience. Next up, enabling the background layer, you'll see that we're opting for a layout splitting the page into thirds. The left third acts as a sidebar so to speak, with the other two thirds being left for the main content of the CV. The next few layers house our logo, name, profession title and contact details. We're opting to contain all of this in the sidebar to keep it grouped together. You may not have a logo, but making this or your name the focal point is important. Grouping your contact information and portfolio link if you have one is also a key part of the CV. Simple icons can be a nice way to make these stand out more too. However, if you are applying any iconography throughout your design, make sure it's consistent with one another and fits the style of your brand. We've also included social links down at the bottom. While less important than the core contact methods, they can be good to include to give your potential recruiters a further insight into your work or creative output. Next up, we have the personal statement. This should really just be a brief paragraph on your core skills and why you're the right fit for the role. We've also included interests within the sidebar to group the more personal information together. Moving on to the main content of the CV, we've split the right hand side up into clearly spaced sections for skills, experience and education. The skills section is arguably the most important to a potential employer. We've split this into primary and secondary skills as this can give a clearer indication of where your core abilities lie while also showing other areas that you have experience in. While simply listing these skills is just fine, we'll also show you another way of portraying this in an example at the end of the video. Work experience and education should be listed in reverse chronological order with your most recent experiences first. In the experience section, you want to clearly display the role you held, the company name, and the time period for full transparency. We've also opted to use easier to process, bite-sized bullet points for the description of the roles. The education section is formatted in the same way, this time with focus on the institution. You can also list any courses, awards, or accolades in this section related to your profession as well. You'll see we've employed a clear visual hierarchy throughout the design, with consistently formatted headings, subheadings, dates and body copy. This is also crucial in how easy it is to navigate your design. We've used text boxes and set up paragraph styles throughout so that it's easy to reformat, reposition and recompose the design if necessary. We have another example here where we've applied some colour, a new set of fonts, some subtle graphic elements and some new icons to portray a different style and personality. Ultimately, it's better to be consistent and clear in your approach than to try and go over the top to portray creativity or technical prowess. But that's it for an overview of how we go about structuring and designing a CV in Adobe Illustrator. We hope you found this useful. And of course, if you have any questions at all related to this topic, please let us know in the comments down below.